Hi everyone, here are the photos I received over the past week. I hope you all are enjoying seeing everyone's work as much as I do. Thank you all again for sharing and staying creative. I'm going to put my email down at the bottom just so you know you can keep sending me these. I really do love seeing them. Okay, so our next art lesson is about texture. We talked about texture in class and we remember that texture uses our sense of touch. It refers to how an object feels and in art we use line, pattern, color, and shading to create the representation of texture. So an example of what I mean is like the trunk of a tree or wood. What do you feel when you touch it? It's hard, kind of rough, it has some uneven textures, there's some bumps even. That's the texture you feel. Now in art we're going to be creating a representation of texture by drawing what wood looks like so you get the sense of what it feels like. So, I'm going to do an example right here on my paper. If I start out as a, by drawing a cylinder, just like we learned how to do in our last lesson where we talked about form. So if I draw this cylinder, you assume it's smooth because there's no line to tell you what the texture is, it's straight. Now I'm going to add some lines. Now when you look at this, you think of wood and you associate it with how wood would feel. So that's what I mean when I talk about texture and represented texture. So I know when you feel this, it still feels like a paper, but when you look at it, you think of the feeling of wood. So that's what I mean when I say texture and represented texture. Okay, so now on to the lesson. All you need is a paper, a pencil, and then we're going to use some markers and crayons later. So you use your pencil so you can erase if you have any mistakes, but I'm going to use a marker just so you can see it better. So we're going to be creating a bird. You're going to start with an oval, big oval, right in the middle. And then we're going to add kind of like a teardrop shape on the side. So our bird is facing to the side. So here's its wing over here. So kind of like a teardrop shape. So if you're using pencil, work, you can erase this later. This line right here. But I don't, I'm using a marker so you can see better. And then we're going to do big eye right here and then so two circles and then we're going to color this one in and then we're going to add a beak so pointy beak Or if you're using a pencil, you would you erase those lines in there. Okay, so you know, beak, we use straight diagonal lines because the beak is pointy. So if you were to touch this, it would be sharp, okay? So keep that in mind. Lines determine how things look and feel, okay? So we're going to do that. Then we're going to add some little 
feet we're gonna add some claws or talons on this bird and those are sharp too so we're gonna have a curve and then point at the end so one two and then we're gonna do one two right here okay so this bird isn't just floating in the air we're gonna have it sitting on a branch so from the feet or from the um bottom of the bird we're gonna add a little branch so we're gonna just do some uneven lines okay so just picture a branch it's not it's not exactly straight it has a shape to it okay make sure you go all the way to the edge of your paper and then add some little other okay make sure it goes underneath so your bird is kind of like hanging on to this branch okay you see how i didn't go super straight it has some bend to it and it has more branches coming out i can add another one here if i want it's up to you okay and then after we do that then we're gonna add the details to our bird so like the textures so birds have feathers so we're gonna add some curved lines so when you do curved lines it usually means something is soft you can choose however you want to do your feathers you can do it like this with some curved lines connected you can do it like long feathers you can do smaller curved lines or you can do some lines like this to show longer feathers it's up to you or you can combine them all if you want okay so after we add some feathers to the wings we're gonna add more feathers over here on the body now i'm gonna add like a little belly here add some Okay, I'm just using curved lines all around to show bird has feathers. And then don't forget to add a tail. So the tail is behind this branch. So just do a sh It's kind of like a um, parallelogram. And then you can add some long feathers down back here okay and then we're gonna add some texture to our branch so just like I showed you guys in the example just add some 
lines. Okay, give it texture. Show that this is a branch and not just... Okay, and then if you want, you can also add some flowers. So just add stem, and then you can do some flowers coming off the tree, okay? And you can even add some leaves. So you see again, I'm using curved lines for these leaves. Okay, you do whatever you want. And then we can also add some clouds to the background. So curved lines, and then you're done. Then you can start to color your bird. Color it up, whatever you want. There are so many different types of birds. Birds are lots of different colors. Remember how I taught you that if you have a broken crayon, use the side of it to color big areas. So you see here I have the sky has a lot of area to color. This would be a good time to use your broken crayons and go ahead and use the side of it, lay it flat or lay it on its side and then you can use it to Okay, and now you're done. You can see we have a lot of different textures going on here. We have the texture of the branch, the leaves, the flowers. We have the texture of our bird and the feathers, the bird's beak, the bird's claws or talons. And we have the texture of the clouds as well.